What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to the Liverpool Carrier Boat Show with a brand new episode and I'm really really nervous for the Watford Liverpool game, let me know what is your prediction for that game and also where are you watching from, which country and which city are you watching from and let's get this video to like 250 maybe 300 likes and then I will publish another carrier mode episode probably a road to glory carrier mode i already have some footage recorded i just need to edit it and i also will preview the watford liverpool match but this is hungary's road to the world cup but at the moment we are bottom of the group good news is that with two wins we play switzerland away and denmark at home with two wins we can actually get back up there i only scored three goals in four games with hungary and normally i create loads of chances same with Hungary, but we just can't put the ball into the back of the net because the finishing of these players is not, you know, world class. But this is the challenge with Hungary. Welcome to the first game of the episode, Switzerland against Hungary. Let's do this! And also guys, let me know if I fail with Hungary, what national team should I take over? Many of you guys suggested that I should manage the Republic of Ireland. That would be a, also a huge, huge challenge. But I also could manage a big team, somebody like England or Spain or Brazil or Argentina. Let me know what do you want to see. Klein Heisler, uh, lucky son, but we have a direct replacement, Dior Cho is coming on. That's just an unlucky injury for Klein Heisler. He goes and that's a fair, good tackle to... Oh please, please surely! The keeper saved it, but no! Oh, what a big goal! Get in the college! Our number nine, our main striker, that's a wonderful pass, and Nikolic somehow puts it in. Finally, we get lucky. Look at Switzerland here. No, you cannot be serious, Mbolo. Oh, please. Oh, what a pass! What a pass! Come on, hit it! <laughs> Let's go, boys! Come on! Brilliant passing move. Mervo had the composure to take a touch and he buries it. Oh, come on. Oh, please. Mervo. Mervo, bang! Yes! I can't believe this! What is this, man? We are leading! against Switzerland, fantastic, it opened up for Mervo and I thought let's just try and hit the top corner and he has done it, it's, oh my word, this is the kind of finishing that we were missing with Hungary, what a goal, oh go on, come on, show yourself, and unbelievable, I missed the target, but that is another good chance, Mervo is on a hat trick, Oh, Bolog, please, Bolog, please, Bolog. Go in, son. Surely. Yes! Come on! We improve our goal difference. Incredible stuff. And the name of the former Liverpool youth player coming on. Oh, no. Oh, I gave the ball away. That is terrible. Oh, they missed it. Wow. Yeah, select. Oh my god. Oh, go on, Neymar. Go on. Go on, son. All the way. Surely. It's fine. I can't believe it. I've never, ever scored five goals with Hungary. I'm not sure who scored that, but oh my goodness. That's so, so amazing. It is Mervo who gets his hat trick and we have they destroy Switzerland away from home. Look at that guy. Mervo. Four shots. Three goals. What a performance. This is an absolute dream result. This is how you get back into the mix of the World Cup qualification process. We had to win this game and we have to win against Denmark. But also our goal difference needed a boost. And we actually created you know eight shots on target five goals that's terrific finishing oh wow marvel gets a 10.0 match rating what a hero 
So England have beaten Denmark and the other game Turkey Finland finished in a draw which is good for us. We are still dead last in the group. Have one injury, Klein Heisler got a four week injury so Giurcio comes into the side otherwise it's the same team. Here we go boys, can we get this Whatever winning game, momentum through shows, into the Denmark the game? We lost away from home to them 3-2 which was a bitterly disappointing game. I didn't defend well in that one. Let's hope we can win this. Really? Oh, Gulachi. Wow. Oh, man. Whoa. Penalty! Yes! That's a huge moment! Get in there! Oh, Mervo! We absolutely must score this. Yeah, he doesn't get the ball. Come on. Bury it! Oh my god, no way! I missed the penalty! I can't believe it! And Denmark on the other end going... Oh, please, no, don't, don't do this to me! Oh my god, oh, Jujak, don't leave him there! Oh, Gulachi, thank you! Oh no, 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 no! Gulachi again, this is incredible! Denmark, keep punishing us! Please. Nice. Oh, go on! Hit it! Yes! You've done it! Come on, boys! Let's go! In the Hungary ranks, scores a massive goal! Yes! Oh, no, no. Don't let him in! I can't believe it! Gulachi is incredible, honestly. Oh! What a steal! Name it! Oh my god! What a goal! <laughs> Are you serious? And Name it! Yeah, that's his first and second touch. He puts it into the top corner like it's a piece of cake. Perfect! Look at that finish! <laughs> and then he does that celebration, the old man celebration, saying, I'm not old as you should start me. Oh, please, please don't do oh, Gulachi can't believe how many amazing saves Gulachi has done. No! Gulachi! Hero! Finally the glows are flowing and we fixed our defending as well. Especially Gulachi was incredible today. Because if you take a look at the chances, Denmark dominated us. They had eight shots on target, we only had three. Jujak missed the penalty and the two goals, but otherwise Gulachi should be the man of the match. No, it was Alec, the defensive midfielder who is playing as a centre-back. What a huge, huge, huge result. So England has won their two home games against, you know, Denmark and Finland and Turkey also has, have beaten Switzerland and Switzerland were top. Uh, before you know this round of fixtures which is good for us because uh, that means that you know we have overtaken Switzerland now so this shows how quickly things can change our goal difference is now much much healthier we scored seven goals in two games but we are still three points behind Turkey we are in a good position in the Premier League but Newcastle United keep on winning so we have to do the same so let's go to Watford and let's try and pick up the three points. But I select the second team because after the Watford game, just three days after that, we are playing Atletico Madrid, which is going to be a really, really tough game. But let's go to Watford. Musonda, who is now an 87 rated player. I just have to start him, have to try him out. Let's hope he can, uh, you know, shine. And I've been training his finishing. So Musonda should be a really, really awesome player to use now. How funny is that we play Watford on the day where Liverpool play Watford in real life. Really nervous but really looking forward to this game. Oh, Musonda. Go on. Oh my days. What a hit. Go on. Go on. Mbappé. And... Come on! It's 1-0 already! Wow! What a start to the game, guys! Look at that! Mbappé almost scored, but Coman tucks in the rebound. Oh, no. Oh, what a goal! 
Oh my days, what a goal. Look at that finish. Oh, that is that is stunning. No. No. Really? Oh wow, what for two shots, two goals. Unbelievable man. Finishing of the Watford players. Wow. Oh, come on, Cleansley! Come on! It's 2-2! Two -two. What is this game? <laughs> this is unbelievable! Wow, it's a lucky goal because the rebound falls straight back to Coman, but he has two goals already in 20 minutes. Arnold, Alexander Arnold! Whoa! Great shot! Come on, son, bury it. Bang! Go on. Don't care opinion though, it's on target, it's but... Really get, get oh about no, Dini! Oh There's boy. Oh, that could have been a penalty. Away. To find room for a shot, maybe. Oh, please. Oh, what a save. Go I mean on. block. Rare attack from Watford. You cannot be serious! Oh, Brunt! Julian Brandt to finish, man! Just finish your dinner, put it on target. Brilliant run. Ah, oh, agonizingly so close. Get the goal that would matter so much. Come on! What on earth is that? An incredible game because the scoring was finished in the 18th minute, and since then, I think I dominated. Even in the second half, I created loads of chances. I just couldn't break down the Watford the goalkeeper. Mo most of our shots came in the first half. The second half was more more like an even contest. With this second team, one point is okay. Alexander Arnold was the man of the match with one assist. Nice. And look at the Watford goalkeeper. He had eight saves to make. And these are the young players that I'm training. Uh, Musonda, you know, his finishing is improving. That's why he went up to 87 rated because... You know, he's now already at almost 80 finishing. Manchester United lost to Sunderland and Aston Villa. And also our biggest title rivals, you know, at the moment are Newcastle, amazingly, because Man City lost to Stoke, who are also putting a, putting a good run together. Stoke actually beat Newcastle as well. So, so here it is, Newcastle, you know, they are our biggest rivals for the title at the moment. But Arsenal and Stoke City, it shows that if you put a winning run together, just like Stoke have done, you are you can find yourself in the top four. Sunderland, who have beaten Man United at Old Trafford, they are in up into fifth place. The league table looks weird with Newcastle, Stoke, and Sunderland in the top five. And uh, and yeah, amazingly, you know, Chelsea moved away from the relegation zone a little bit with the victory, but Tottenham, Chelsea, and Man United in the bottom half of the table. That's, that looks so, so weird, but also hilarious. And uh, yeah, Aston Villa, who have beaten Man United, they are bottom of the league. And now we have another player who is vying for the top scorer award. It's Kingsley Coman, who in the second team have been, has been banging in the goals. Ojo has six goals, Coman has five. Those are our top two scorers, and Ojo has five assists. Bailey has three assists. He needs to play more. McDonald also has three assists, so that's good. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Liverpool Carryover episode. If you want to see more, all you need to do is leave a like. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.